We begin with what the United Nations is calling a code red for humanity. A sweeping new report says the climate is changing at an unprecedented rate and without swift and drastic cuts to greenhouse gas emissions, the world is on track for catastrophe. The report from the International Panel on Climate Change involves the work of 234 scientists and more than 14,000 studies. They all come to one unequivocal conclusion. Humans are fueling climate change. The report also shows the world has warmed by about 1.1 degrees Celsius since the late 19th century, and it's likely to surpass the 1.5 degree mark in the next two decades. How committed is Malaysia towards reducing carbon emissions, and what are the obstacles to achieving the target? We have been used to subsidy of utilities in the country to say, for example, to reduce carbon emission mainly from energy sector, which is about 79%. We have to uh, depart from the existing fossil fuel dependence. And this is not easy, this is not cheap. We can have hydro, say for example, assuming we can, can share the capability or the capacity that we have in various parts in the country. Can you use solar? Solar cannot be more than 20%, except uh, in the future, we might have energy storage facilities and that's not yet ready now in the big scale. So we, we cannot do that. And what else we have? We can have bioenergy from mainly waste material. So this is big thing that my ministries and my colleagues in the ministry would like to, to venture into in the future. So if we can get another 30% into the energy mix through a waste sector, that will be reduce our dependency. But the question is, we have to renegotiate the whole financial model and whatnot. So the implication might be more expensive in terms of energy tariff, electricity tariff, and water tariff. So this is the impact that we have to think whether our people are ready to accept that or not. Bila kepanasan global berlaku dengan dengan tanpa kawalan, kita letak 1.5 darjah Celsius. Bila meningkat pada 1.5 darjah Celsius, berarti negara dunia berada dalam keadaan risiko. Banjir yang yang tak menentu sekarang berlaku. Tiba-tiba saja tengah panas, hujan lebat, tiba-tiba turun, berlaku banjir. Banjir kilat. Dulu kalau banjir kilat, mungkin longkang, kereta tak berjalan. Sekarang banjir kilat, rumah tenggelam. Ya, Berlaku fenomena alam sebagai contoh. Ya, Berlaku ribut yang luar biasa, ya. kepanasan yang luar biasa. Dan ini fenomena-fenomena ini, ya, tentulah hasil daripada, daripada usaha manusia. 